Renaissance Man Education. You might hear some chatter in the background. My son's playing a video. Listen to your video, son. Go ahead, turn up a little bit. You're gonna hear some chit chat in the background because my son's watching a video about a weightlifting technique called uh, a power clean. And um, I remember, I was taught to respect my elders. So you're gonna hear me talk about advice that older men have given me in the past a lot on this channel. So, a long time ago, it was the first time I walked in the weight room after high school. Uh, I was in college and, you know, um, I had gotten a little out of shape. So a friend of mine was trying to get me to join a gym with him. And there was an older man in there and he looked at me and he smiled. And he said, you know what, young man, I'm glad you're here. I didn't even know this guy. He said, I'm glad you're here. And I said, okay, why is that, sir? He's like, look, you meeting the nicest, most faithful lady that you ever gonna meet. She gonna be loyal to you. She gonna give you everything that she got. And you always gonna get something in return. You can have all of her anytime you want. And I looked around cause I didn't see any women. He said, I'm talking about this weight room, son. You be good to the weight room, it'll be good to you. That's on the football field, on the basketball court. If you're a wrestler, I don't care if you play lacrosse or golf. Once you get older, not going to want to have health problems and bad joints and bad quality of life because you can't move around. Your work may require physical strength, maintaining your house. We just had to do quite a bit of yard work. Our yard is an acre, but I also service my mom's lawn too. When I'm done, because there's some things to lift and, you know, some of the equipment can be heavy taken off the trailer and stuff like that. Um, the way our trailer is, we have a small trailer. But we, we have one zero turn, a, a dedicated edger and a push mower among some other things. But uh, we have to move the trailer. Um, you know, whatever the case may be. Uh, I was hauling some junk off for my girlfriend not too long ago and that required some physical strength. Also, blood flow to all of your organs and the rest of your body, protection of your organs, and then your brain function because of, as a byproduct of increased blood flow. These are all benefits of going to the weight room, keeping your cardio up, doing what you need to to take care of your body. So, I know the video game is fun. I know chasing the girls feels good, but that woman called the weight room is gonna be loyal than any of them girls, and them games gonna make you stupid. Those kill your brain cells. They don't help you move forward in life. And while I'm talking about you chasing the little girls, which you shouldn't be doing at a young age, you should be chasing your dreams, but okay. Of course, I'm always going to recommend to you abstinence, but guess what? You get your tail in that weight room and make your body look like something. You're going to have more females to chase after you anyway. I see all these videos about these guys complaining about how they can't get a girl. Um, and I don't claim to be, uh, you know, some expert with women or something like that, but I know this much. Um, even in my older age with a beard and whatever the case may be, and a gray beard rather, and a bald head because I don't have any more hair. I still have women who compliment me on how my body looks. And I don't have a six pack anymore, but I got a chest, I got some shoulders. I mean, I get compliments. And here's another thing too, when people are choosing targets, you know, bullies and, and people who want to rob folks and who want to cause problems, I don't have those problems. People look at me and then they just walk the other way. Not saying that I'm a, uh, you know, invincible or anything like that, but body language matters. So just like when you see a crocodile in the wild and you see those scales and you see that snout and you see his eyes peek up above that water, you know to get going. You hear that lion roar, you know to get going. Well, the same thing happens when you get in the weight room and you make yourself look like a man. 
Suck your stomach in. Poke your chest out. Lift your chin up. Get in that weight room. When you put in, when you invest in something, you want a return on your investment. And I promise you, if you get in that weight room, you're going to benefit from it one way or another.